Okay, I'll give you I'll give you like a five second countdown. Hello, boys and girls. My name is Mr. Rebuck, and I am responsible for religious education here at St. Joseph's Parish. I'm so happy that we can be together once again for Children's Liturgy of the Word. This week is the 15th Sunday in Ordinary Time, and we will begin with a reading from the prophet Amos. When Amos, the prophet, was rejected in Israel, he said to the priest, I was not born a prophet. I was a shepherd, and I took care of sycamore trees. But God called me away from my sheep and said to me, Go, be my prophet. Speak to my people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All right, boys and girls, we will now sing our responsorial psalm and our gospel acclamation. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. I will hear what God proclaims, the Lord for he proclaims peace. Near indeed is his salvation to those who fear him, glory dwelling in our land. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. Kindness and truth shall meet, justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him and prepare the way of his steps. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, enlighten the eyes of our hearts, that we may know what is the hope that belongs to our call. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia.
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus called the twelve apostles together and began to send them to other places, two at a time. He gave them power over evil spirits. He told them not to take extra things with them as they traveled. He told them they could take a stick to help them walk, but not to take food or a traveling bag or money. They were to wear sandals, but he told them, do not take along extra clothes. And when you go to a house, stay there until you leave that town. If the people will not accept you or listen to you, leave that town. And as you leave, shake off the dust from your feet. This will show them that they were wrong not to accept you. So the disciples went and preached to the people, telling them to change their hearts and their lives. They also sent away evil spirits, anointed the sick with oil, and healed many people. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Boys and girls, we are now in the time of year when many families are going on vacation. If you have ever gone on a trip, then you know it takes a lot of preparation to get ready. You might need to get someone to bring in your mail when you are gone. If you have a pet, then you need to find someone to take care of your pet while you are away. But perhaps the most important thing you have to do before going on a trip is packing your suitcase. In fact, let's pretend that we are going on a trip. I want you to think of all the things that we would need to pack in our suitcase. So let's see. We need socks, underwear, pants, shirts, shorts, toothpaste, toothbrush, shampoo, a hairbrush, and a swimsuit and sandals for the beach. Is there anything I have forgotten? Oh, I did think of something I forgot. My laptop. I can't go a week without checking my email or browsing the internet. Boys and girls, while he was on earth, Jesus traveled around from village to village teaching people, healing people, and casting out demons. In today's gospel reading, we are told that Jesus called the 12 apostles together and began to send them to other places two at a time. He gave them power over evil spirits. That certainly sounds like a pretty big job, doesn't it? So that meant that they would have to travel from town to town just as Jesus had been doing. I'm sure the disciples thought to themselves, wow, I had better go home and start packing. But then Jesus gave them further instructions. He told them not to take extra things with them as they traveled. He told them they could take a, a stick to help them walk, but not to take food or a traveling bag or money. They were to wear sandals, but he told them, do not take along extra clothes. So no food, no money, no extra clothes. How could the disciples possibly make this journey? Well, they found people who would welcome them in, and they stayed with them in their homes. These people fed them and gave them everything they needed for their journey. Today's gospel reading goes on to tell us, so the disciples went and preached to the people, telling them to change their hearts and their lives. They also sent away evil spirits, anointed the sick with oil, and healed many people. So in other words, they did exactly what Jesus told them to do, and he gave them the power to do it. Boys and girls, Jesus has told you and I to go and make disciples as well. I wonder if sometimes we are reluctant to follow this command because we think we are not ready. But if we would just go like the 12 apostles did, Jesus would give us the ability to share the good news with others. Remember, though, we are not sent out alone. We have the community of the Catholic Church, which supports us 
in our life of discipleship. Boys and girls, this week, remember to pray for help in working towards our mission of growing disciples for the Lord Jesus Christ. All right, boys and girls, as we do every week, we will now have the renewal of our baptismal promises. So I invite you to stand up and respond with I do after I read the questions. Dear children, through his suffering, death, and resurrection, we have been buried with Christ in baptism that we may walk with him in newness of life. And so let us now renew the promises of holy baptism in which we renounce Satan and his works and promise to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. And so I ask you, do you reject Satan? I do. And all his works? I do. And all his empty promises? I do. Do you renounce the lure of evil so that sin may have no power over you? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. God, the Almighty Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, has given us a new birth by water and the Holy Spirit and forgiven all of our sins. May he also keep us faithful to our Lord Jesus Christ forever and ever. Amen. Boys and girls, thank you very much for joining us today for Children's Liturgy of the Word. I hope that you and your families are able to either watch or attend the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass together this weekend, and that all of you have a blessed Sunday. I look forward to seeing you back here once again next week.